Like many others, you may have watched in awe of the bravery of the RMLI. You may have even wondered if you had what it takes to become a crew member. In this video, we're going to see what it really takes to become a member of the RMLI. One important question is what skills do you need? Lifeboat training is provided, but there are many other skills which you already have which could be useful. One of these skills is a good work ethic and determination. When working for the RNLI, your pager could go off at any minute, so it's important that you're committed to the job. Another important attribute is to be cheerful. You'll be working in a close-knit team and with people who are scared under pressure, so it's important to remain positive. Another important skill is cooperation. You will rely on as heavily on your team as your team will rely on you, so it's important that you learn to work together. Another good skill is communication. When working in high pressure situations with other people, you must communicate to save lives. It's important to remember that no previous experience is required to become a crew member, and therefore any skills you have could be put to use. Still interested? Let's take a look at some of the kit you might use while on duty. This is a D-class lifeboat, five meters long, with a max speed of 25 knots, it's perfect for inshore rescues. Other inshore craft include the E and B class, hovercraft and inshore rescue boats. Next up we have the all-weather lifeboats. These are manned by six plus people. This particular model is the Shannon, which is 13 metres long and has a max speed of 25 knots. Others include the Seven, the Tamar, the Tyne, the Trent and the Marzi. The Shannon is the latest of these models. Next up are the uniforms. Depending on which class of light boat they are manning, they could be wearing up to five layers. Along with boots, helmet and life jacket. There are also communications such as radios in every boat and station so that the emergency services can contact the RNLI as well as boats being able to contact their stations. Still think you've got what it takes? Then head down to your local RNLI's lifeboat station and register your interest. Recruitment documentation forms such as job descriptions, person specifications, application forms and CVs may be used to assess your suitability, but there are many different roles within the RNLI, so everyone's welcome to try. And you can always support them by donating.